Robin Hood is a 1922 American film. The full title is actually Douglas Fairbanks in Robin Hood. <laughs> now, this film is the first film to have a premiere. And uh, this film was a huge success when it came out. I mean, <laughs> and for good reason. When it came to the production of this particular film... I mean, the castle set, which I was impressed with. I mean, the backdrops and everything, the costuming, everything. Uh, so the castle uh, and and the village uh, for like the, the 12th century medieval, all of it was constructed at Pickford Fairbanks Studio in Hollywood. Not Pickfair. At, at their studio in Hollywood. Of course, this was... Um, for Douglas Fairbanks' uh, company, uh, through his company and, and United Artists. And at the same time, some of the sets were designed by architect Lloyd Wright. That would be Frank Lloyd Wright. I had to do some extra digging to find out if it was actually him. <laughs> and so, as it turns out, this film actually overwhelmed uh douglas fairbanks um he really wanted to do the story but working on the sets and everything the director alan duane said that when working on the sets and because they're to scale it it really he almost canceled the production and <laughs> I'm so glad he didn't. Now we all know the story of Robin Hood and and Maid Marian and and of course this I I love the story. I absolutely I have seen so many different versions from uh later Errol Flynn and um and of course Men in Tights who can forget Men in Tights and <laughs> <laughs> and Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, all of them, all of them. I, I love Robin Hood. I've read the the book by Howard Pyle, and so this one is no different for me. I mean, you get to see uh, Douglas Fairbanks in action, and um, he's known as as the the king of silent film and and the swashbuckler and everything and 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 of course those sets and the, and the costumes the costume design is I mean it's obvious he's a perfectionist because to to set up those sets for medieval and and for this robin hood story and and of course the um costumes and everything now one thing that i found very interesting that his biographer stated is that the douglas fairbanks and robin hood is the most important legacy of uh for douglas fairbanks um the sets are long gone which is too bad <laughs> Uh, the characters have been reimagining, uh, reimagined and reinterpreted, but the foundation the film was built upon and the culture it created exists to this day. So when you watch his version, you see bits and pieces of Douglas Fairbanks's Robin Hood in other Robin Hoods. And it's <laughs> Very much yes, <laughs> because of course you can see where um, Errol Flynn uh, and Olivia de Havilland's version uh, picked up and were heavily inspired by this because it was only like 10 years later and um, give or take. And then you just go down the decades of different Robin Hoods and uh, there was a, a Disney Robin Hood and which is long forgotten. <laughs> yeah, um, I actually have a uh, uh, one of those that's uh, narration, and, and I have that one. And um, so, but yeah, Walt Disney did a, a, a Robin Hood, not the animated, but but a, a live action. And um, so, yeah, uh, this one is 
the foundation of all of the Robin Hood movies. And <laughs> I I couldn't agree more. We all know the story. The, the sets are beautiful. The the costuming is beautiful. The story you get to see um Douglas Fairbanks at his best. And of course, Wallace Berry is in this one. We've seen Wallace Berry before. He played Richard the Lionheart in this. Uh, Wallace Berry was in uh, that Louise Brooks. I'm blanking off the top of my head. Uh, Beggars for Life uh, in that one. Uh, Enid Bennett plays Lady Marion. She and uh, Douglas Fairbanks had wonderful chemistry together. I really loved watching those two. And um, so, but anyway... Uh, this is Robin Hood, Douglas Fairbanks as Robin Hood. It's an American film released in 1922.